Today we're talking about why I believe every single student can learn to write. In fact, parents, if you're struggling with writing, you too can learn how to write. In fact, the best way for your students to realize that they can write is to see their parents learning how to write and how to improve their writing. So I want to start today with talking about why students struggle because why students struggle is going to be a really big part of how we make sure that they learn how to write. So when you see your students struggling with writing, it might look like them resisting. They don't want to write. So this is the student that people say to me, my student just hates to write. You know, they're crying, they're angry, they're frustrated, or they may be procrastinating or looking like they're procrastinating. They put it off to the very end when they're already tired and they're not giving their best work. They're just not trying really hard. They're handing in poor and sloppy work, even though you feel you've taught them the skills. So a lot of things go into writing. And writing is a very emotional thing. It's us taking what's inside of us and putting it out there for the whole world to see. It's That's a scary thing. None of us is truly comfortable or it takes a very long time for us to become comfortable putting ourselves out there in front of other people where they are going to be able to see what we really think and feel and what our skills are. And especially when we're putting that out there in order to be graded, that's something that's really scary. So to acknowledge that it's a scary thing for students to write, especially because this is often happening at the teen years, so preteen and teen, when students are already feeling less comfortable in their own skin, they're already feeling that they may be being judged or they're afraid of being judged, they're afraid of not measuring up. So there's a lot of fear going on with writing. And those are things that we can help them address and that they will grow through. So the number one thing that students are fearing beyond just putting themselves out there, the reason they fear putting themselves out there is they fear failure. So what has your student read? They've read published books. They may have read essay samples of excellent writing. They probably, if you're homeschooling, they may not have ever read an essay or a piece of writing by someone at their own level before. These students feel like they just can't write because everything they see is been published, been edited, it's done by professionals. And when they come and ask us for help, we very quickly say, oh, it's not so hard. Don't worry about it. Just do this and this and this and this. And so we have all the answers and they just feel that it's just something that they can't do. So they start to believe this lie that you are a writing person or not. And we talk about this in math all the time that that is a fallacy. Like actually physiologically speaking, everybody can learn to do it. That doesn't mean that some people don't have particular aptitudes in an area. Of course, there are always things that we might struggle with more than somebody else, or we might find easier than somebody else. But there's no reason that our brain is not able to learn these skills we have what's called brain plasticity. So our brain can change and grow, but students have this idea that you're either a writing person or not a writing person. You're a reading person or a not reading person. And that's just the way you're born. So they don't wanna put themselves out there and they don't wanna try hard and fail because at least if they don't try hard, they can say, well, I could have done better, but I didn't want to. That's an excuse. I know it's an excuse and you know an excuse, but it still makes them feel more comfortable. It makes them feel safer. So what this comes down to is a maturity issue, but also some life skills issues. So when students start to be able to determine that they want to learn how to write and they set goals and they start to meet those goals and they start to see themselves achieving success, then they will be able to move forward and be able to push harder through difficult things. Because writing is not just something easy to do. We don't just wake up one day and know how to write. Nobody does. It doesn't matter how good of a writer someone is, they didn't just be born that way. What students really need is an ability to be able to follow through on large projects. 
because writing an essay, a research essay especially, is a very large project with a lot of smaller components that you have to do in the right order and do consistently well over a long period of time to have a good outcome. So students who have not been trained to take a large project, to break it down into pieces, to actively push through and work through the hard steps it takes, to push themselves to see that they can succeed, won't have the confidence to do that. That sounds like a lot of bad news. And that sounds like a scary thing. It makes me wonder how anybody learns to write. But there are students who do learn to write and learn to write very young, not because they have a particular aptitude, but because they have learned these skills. The motivation skills, the follow through skills, the planning skills, the accomplishing through a fear of failure and being able to push past that fear is something we can teach kids. It's not something that we just have to say, well, they're teenagers, they'll figure it out when they're adults. That is really doing our students a disservice because then they get to adulthood and they get to university or they get into a career and they're stuck without these skills. And it puts them behind when they could be far, far ahead. So it's my goal to teach students those skills. Now, why do I believe every student can learn to write. I've already covered a few of them. First of all, we have a plastic brain. Our brain is able to grow and develop. It's able to learn new things. It's able to create new pathways. We just have to consciously create new paths in our brain for the information that we're learning. So we need to learn new pathways of speaking to ourselves. So when we fear something, we have to recognize that feeling and we have to identify it and ask ourselves, what am I really afraid of? Okay, I'm afraid that I might not do as well as I'd hoped, or I'm afraid that someone's gonna laugh at me, or I'm afraid I'm gonna get a poor grade, or I'm afraid my parents are gonna be disappointed in me. There are so many feelings caught up in it. And for students to be able to identify those feelings and to say, okay, I'm afraid, it's okay to be afraid. That doesn't mean I have to stop. Bravery is not that we're not afraid. It's that we press forward even though we're afraid and we do the next right step, even though we're afraid. So when students learn those skills, their brain grows and changes and develops, and then they gain confidence that they can continue to learn because they've seen themselves learn this skill and now they can see themselves take it farther and they can dream bigger and they can have bigger goals not just for their writing, not just for their academics, but for their whole life, because now they see this and they have this skill that they can transfer to everything. The second reason that I believe that anyone can learn to write is it is a process, just like algebra, and we can learn the process. Everybody can learn that process. It's not exclusive. It's not something you need particular amazing skills to do. You just have to learn how to do it. And learning that process is so much more than learning, this is a hamburger outline. There's so much more to it than how to outline an essay. It's about what makes a good argument. It's about what questions should I be asking in order to come to a good thesis? What questions do I have to be researching so that I can prove my point? How does the other side of this argument feel about this? Or what do they believe about this so that I can address those issues and be persuasive in my writing? Writing is so much more than just a quick outline on a piece of paper. It is so many skills and it's a process that where we walk through each of those skills in order. And I teach my students to set out those steps and to work through them strategically without jumping ahead and jumping around because nobody wants to do extra work. I don't wanna do extra work. They don't wanna do extra work. There's no busy work here. If I give something to a student, it's because it matters. So when they begin to trust that, then they begin to work through that process and they see real results. The third reason that I believe that anybody can learn to write is perhaps the most important one. We're created in God's image to be communicators. 
God is the word. Jesus is the word. And words have power. God has created us to use words powerfully to make an impact, to have an answer to the world. And God wouldn't have given us that mandate to have an answer, to be able to give an account for our faith if we weren't able to do that. And every one of us is able because God has mandated it for us to be a thinker, to be persuasive, to know what we believe and to know how to prove our point and be in communication with other people about that. So God wouldn't give us that mandate if we weren't all capable of doing it. So writing is something that is a major part of language arts and being able to have confidence to write is so much more than about writing. It's really about life success. And that's what I like to teach. That's what I love to see the lights go on in my students' eyes when they realize that they can do this. And that's why I teach writing. So today, your student, perhaps they're in a position where they're resisting writing, they're, you see them procrastinating, you see them handing in work that you know they could do better, and you can't understand why they don't just apply themselves. Nothing seems to be working. Know that they can learn. There are practical things, steps that you can go through that you can teach them. You can teach them how to break the large project down into smaller ones. You can teach them how to push through the hard things to achieve so that they can have confidence. And most of all, you can teach them that they don't have to be afraid of failure because once they have confidence for this step, they will learn to have confidence in everything and they will be confident speakers, confident writers, and more persuasive in life. And that'll make them a success. I'd love to talk to you more about how I can help your student if you're looking for extra help. And I will put a link in the comments below that will tell you where you can get in touch with me to book a call so we can create a plan for your students specifically based on their own gaps and their own needs. Thanks so much for joining me today, and I hope you have a wonderful weekend.